screen, my laptop, and uh, so I cannot, um, all I can do is edit videos on my uh, my phone. I have two phones with me. Uh, one right now is sharing data from a camera, and uh, as we film more than close to hour and a half, it takes about six hours to get the footage on my uh, through Bluetooth, basically. Yeah, I will. I will. I need Lightning to SD. I will find it. Doesn't matter. So first video with Larry Wheels is out. Uh, I was watching it and, and I was very nervous. So I like to do my job as best as I can, explain as best as I can, um, be precise in what I say. Uh, yeah, I thought, I'm like, this is great. I'm like, this is really great. I'm so happy that it happened. Uh, community there, they're like, oh, you know, yo, this dude knows what he's talking about. That, that's That's the idea. Um, so I'm very happy if you're just came from Larry to here, I'm happy. You know, the whole channel, you, you can go on video section, search for exercises for back pressure, side pressure, hand, wrist, everything is there. Want to learn history of, uh, some of the best arm wrestlers, top, top, uh, right arm arm wrestlers ever heavyweights, top left arm pound for pound. We have all that here covered. This is this is information knowledge channel, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. And I'm very, I'm like, I was so excited and so nervous for the video to be coming out. So uh, I was, I'm like, I fell asleep. I was pretty tired after the practice and everything. And I woke up and I'm like, I need to eat. I go outside eat. And then I walked around for two hours from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. <laughs> they said, Adam said he will update it, uh, upload it at uh 11 and I was so 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 you know uh nervous <laughs> I'm just walking around I'm like what time is it what time is it uh, but yeah I hope it turned out great I hope you guys like it uh give me some feedback in the comments um the the things that like I really saw what I saw I really think the pronate the part of not being able to contain you know uh his pronator it, it's it's the biggest problem for him if he will be able to control it or at least understand the value of keeping it much better and the hand is not working at all in my opinion uh, yeah it's on Larry's channel you can go and watch it there I'm gonna post smaller parts but I know I don't know how good my footage is and so I will film tomorrow but I'm just happy that you know it's out there it's uh to be honest, my first collaboration that I have done with anyone, you know, when I'm on someone else's channel, intentionally, not just, you know, I was around, you know, I was walking into the background. Um, let's see some comments. Do you think you'd be able to do it? I mean, pronation is very arm wrestling specific. Maybe not there is such sort of... Uh, again, he's very strong. Uh, uh, oh my <laughs> yeah, uh, he's very strong. All the muscles are there. Uh, we just need to activate them, and like, if he like, if he can pronate five kilos, and we can make them ten, that's fifty percent increase on that muscle. So the better the pronator we can have, I will go. I'm going to show you him just some of my opinion, the best exercises for him that he can incorporate in his everyday routine, and just you know, uh, it's. It's it's uh, it's it will be better. And same thing goes with the hand. If he learns how to how to keep his cup tight, you know the the problem is when guys are holding it here, you know there's no hand. You need to have super strong wrist. Again, I know those guys. We have that guy. We have Tuoms Ruzzi. It's everyone. If someone from Latvia watching, they're like, yeah, that's Tuoms. Tuoms doesn't care. Tuoms can hold you here and just smack you in. Uh, but uh, he can't. You know, he lost because the, the fingers are so thick, you know, he loses control. Um, if Michael, uh, tomorrow I will show some stuff and we talk with Michael. He's like, I might see something I don't know. And I'm like, of course, like, uh, I think like from pulling with Michael, of course, I learned something. You know, I want to pull that arm to have different experience you you cannot have you, you you cannot learn anything when you haven't seen some things you know you just sit 
in your dogmatic stake. Oh, Ozzy Armstrong, right now, everyone's watching. Go to Ozzy Armstrong and yeah, and and uh, <laughs> subscribe to his channel. He's my favorite favorite Australian, I guess. Who knows? No one knows. <laughs> no, don't tell anyone else. Yeah, I, I like a lot of people from that, so don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's. I, I have prepared, uh, we'll do six exercises, maybe something more. I don't want to overwhelm him because I can do like, I can say like, we will do this in 20 different variations. And that's how we do. Uh, I want to give him something that he really can do to access that power or at least to have that body mind connection. Okay. So this is right here. This is the pronator. Like for me, it, it, it's still, I, 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 I still have a lot of, problems controlling my pronator versus good top rollers so i know it's a hard skill to learn especially when you go inside sometimes you will over supinate but uh yeah I, I i believe we can i can do best i can you know how it turns up it's it's different ball game but i will do the best i can for that and for fingers for grip for that arm wrestling grip it's like uh yeah i feel he arm wrestles a little bit other way around, like he starts with the shoulder and then, you know, hand is the last piece of the puzzle. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like I'm receiving messages as we speak, like blowing up. <laughs> and a lot of my guys, they're like, hey, like the things you explained, you never told us in practice. I'm like, yeah, because you did it. You did it without thinking. It's It was already there as we, because we start, like if you come to our gym, Usually, we will most of the times we will start with top roll. If it develops in some other technique, that's good. But if you learn top roll, you learn how to work with the hand. You know how to hold the grip and how to control your opponent with with those things. And when I work with you on table, if you do those things, I will not point them out. And I talked with we had like uh, Vlad told me he's like, yeah, I, I I didn't notice that I do all those things in unintentionally. And if I arm wrestle with Vlad or someone else who I know really well, and I will like, man, you're not doing this specific part. I will notice it straight away and I will point it out. Before that, I don't need to point it out. I don't need to remind them every time that you need to, you know, work with your thumb, to press down with your thumb when you try to top roll to help more leverage or things like that. Um, yeah, let's see some comments, guys. Yeah, this is this is amazing. It has to do a little with arm wrestling, chest side. Uh, like, to be honest, if you bench big, most likely you can press because your elbows can hold the tension, you know, but everything else will be, yeah, it's it's an, uh, undeveloped most times. Like a million new arm wrestle is going to pop out of nowhere. Yep, he does separate a lot from his hand. Greetings from Germany. Yo, what's up? How is his side? Do you think bench has to do with side? Uh... I'm I'm not really worried about his side. Like he has like if you saw my hand is same size as his and I'm a midget, you know. But it's much thicker. And the part here, like here, it's three times. Like super thick. So having hands like this is a huge advantage. Uh and sometimes disadvantage because when you cannot grip something completely Usually they will slip out and you will lose that grip. So for him, side pressure, in my opinion, is the last resort. Like every great heavyweight will have a good hand. Most of the time they will have good hand. And the problem will be when he meets someone, when he gets a better hand, let's say the scenario, he gets his hand stronger and then he meets someone with better hand. That's when he needs side, you know, when, Eventually, they will end up inside. But before that, you know, that wouldn't be the something you need to prepare. You Like, it's not an MMA. It's not an MMA. You cannot do everything and expect the same roles. You need to create those patterns, neural patterns in your in your mind. You, this is the move I want to do. I can do it maybe five different variations, but that's the one move. And when that's created and it's sitting right there, then you create the, some other techniques. And... A lot of new arm wrestlers, they want to skip that part. And there's very few people who can do it, you know? Like, Saunders right now is in chat. I can say Saunders can sit in a hook as good as he can top roll, you know? 
but again, it wasn't a, it, it was something that came later. You know, he he mastered that one top roll, and then he eventually went, you know, from inside. And now he honestly is just weird. You know, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, let's see some more guys. Um, some can you bring back some oil, Ray? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's blank out. So Larry should arm. No, Larry should arm us like Larry. The the problem with everyone is everyone tries to be someone they're not, trying to Im, trying to imitate someone. You can like again, how many guys like everyone wants to arm us like Zaluyev. I would want to have a hook like Zaluyev. I can't. It, it's possible. I wanted to have left hand move just like Alejan. I can't. You know. Uh, so. It's a, it's a, it's a thing you need to understand. You should be working on where you are strong. It's very hard. Like, if you're super bad at top roll, you know you're gonna spend a lot of time building some technique where you're bad. But if you're really good at hook from the start, that's where you should be putting all, making that technique better. The problem again with new arm wrestlers, I, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm gonna rant sometimes, but it's you compare arm wrestling to like fight sports, you know, MMA, because it's easy. And they're like, you need to be well-rounded. And the other techniques come later. They come. But develop that one strength, rely on that strength when that stops working or you have a chance to develop something else. That's when you develop that other technique. Like, Giannis is, is top roller. He has a hook if he needs. And he can press when he top rolls. You know, he can get behind and press. Vlad is a great top roller. He he's basically the same in a press. It's so hard to find out which one is better at some point. Uh, Prudnik top roll hook, you know, but it starts with one technique. Prudnik was hooking before he started top rolling. Uh, Krasimir, same way. He top rolls now. Um, yeah, I have it's it's yeah I have a. You want to get a tour? No, okay. It's a, it's not a lot here, but uh, basically I have a, you know, so there's washing room, uh, washing machine, there's the toilet, you know, and there's the bedroom, you know, so. And um, yeah, that's it. So I thought I, would, I was getting a room. Turns out I was getting a suite. So yeah, I'm just uh, pretty cool. Uh, I get very sweaty and that's how I break. And that's how I break my iPhone 12. Uh, so, <laughs> like, outside it's very hot, so I get sweaty. I put everything there, wash my clothes, and every day, and then you, so it's fine. But, <laughs> yeah, this will go in fail videos. Um, yeah, it's hot. It's, it's like 24, 23 degrees uh, Celsius, but it's really hot, so, you know. Um, so I'm spending about, I, I guess, 300 euros. It was pretty cheap for a week, 300 euros for this, uh, breakfast included, nothing else. But, um, I, I, because there's not a lot of tourism going around and there's so many, you know, um, it's, it's so many, uh, hotels here that the prices are just dropped you can i could find like i'm pretty much in the center i live like so close from michael uh if i wanted i could find some places even cheaper uh food uh, i was expecting it would be much more expensive but it's not hey man yeah yo ozzy arms stop throwing money at me <laughs> yeah stop throwing money at me yeah that's not that but these iphones gonna am dope this to yeah um oh thank you guys uh i really appreciate like i i i went in to look at the comments because you know i like oh i need to see that yeah but uh yeah yeah i'm rich i have i have iphone 8 that i had for four years that but you you want to see it yeah you, you'll see how rich i am <laughs> but uh i bought this as a gift for myself not yeah, it's there's Austin sitting there, and it's completely cracked. There's a crack in between. So I wanted to iPhone, and uh, 11 was basically the same as 8. So I took uh, 12, and it's working great, and basically the price is the same. 
So um, I'm gonna reach that I'm poor. <laughs> it's okay, I'm rich. So please tell what is your exact pay height. Like, no one cares. No one cares. Yeah, it's pretty dry here. It's pretty dry. Uh, okay, you're the best, honestly. Gosh, thank you. He's from Italy. My friend Giannis is the is the best I've ever met. You are awesome. Hey, yeah. Um, I'm I'm really hoping uh like after COVID is somewhat settled, we can really go and travel places and see and th this gave me so much energy. This was something that I was really working on. I uh, I don't have aspirations just to show like I'm a badass. I can be this and that guy. I don't care about that. I wanted like my only thing I wanted to do was represent myself as a coach. You know, I'm like so I think. I think I did it pretty good. So I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with response. I'm very happy with you guys, with community. Uh, yeah, I hope uh, tomorrow's video, of course, there's, there, I will show things, not everything, but most things that you have already seen on my channel. Maybe I will get a little bit more detail and I get a little bit more specific to Larry, but it will help everyone. It really, like... Um, you know, you know that, that's 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 just what it is. I believe everyone will have benefit from the video I'm telling you and showing. And uh, yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, on Saturday, we will have huge table practice. Like my arm is hurting right now. I'm like, you know, because I'm pulling Michael. If you have never pulled Michael, like y you cannot like the problem with pulling Michael you can get that positive. It, it, you can get positive to here. Yeah, I'm pressing down, but you will have that negative tension when he opens you up all the time. And I'm like, oh, and I haven't felt you know, from that position when someone just rips you open. And that's 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 one thing. This is one what some people don't expect when they are Muscle Michael, when when they get to that level and he just comes back, you know, with, with the Kings and yeah. Uh, with Larry, when you think he's ready, please have a super match. Why dude? Why? Why? Levin might be in for a surprise. Of course he is. It, it, it's something you have never experienced before. It's something very hard to mimic in training. So it's, it's really unknown. Like, if he would arm wrestle Jerry and was like, Jerry's too... Jerry would be kind of known because you know how guys will flop, flop press. You know, it's you, you can simulate it with someone. They will do a terrible version of it. You know, not like Jerry. But still, Michael, it's something It's something completely different. It's, it's just different. And uh, yeah, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get some comments. Let's see. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Man, it's almost one o'clock, and we'll we'll doing morning session tomorrow. <sighs> I'm sorry for asking the wrong question, dude. I, I maybe, um, I guess I missed your question, but okay. What's Larry's goal? Is he planning to become a pro? Yeah, so I'm gonna do an interview with Larry as well and talk about that. Um, uh, do you think? Do you do you think you can train? Larry to elite technique, not in one session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's up, Georgia? Yeah, I, I'm, I, I hope worlds will happen and I will have a chance to go to Georgia. As Ivan said, great food, great wine, beautiful country. You know, uh, he said, first strong man, then arm is like, if you're small, I'm only, yeah, yeah. Did you finish top 10 in his category is Lottie a year? No, 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 no chance for top 10 in a year. Like, are, like again, it, I don't know how many of you are experienced arm wrestlers, but think about yourself. Like, you can train as strong as you can, and if you don't have competition, real competition with real rules, with real referees, going on stage, meeting unknown arm wrestlers, someone you never met before, and you think you will have experience to go on a stage with guys that have five, 10 years in the sport, just are killers there. It's absurd. So uh, I told him, 
I don't know if it was on a video, but I told him that uh, he needs experience. He needs pulling experience. If they do competition here, it doesn't matter. He can lose. It, it's it's good that he loses. It's good for everyone to like winning. It's very hard to find things you can still learn in winning. Uh, like one of the saddest moments was 2000. I want to say 2017 when Vladislaus went to Europeans and he won both arms very easily. He had some things with right arm, but but it was so easy. He came back with zero motivation. He's like, I don't know. I'm I just like it was too easy, and. Yeah, it showed in the world he lacked motivation for that. And that's the problem, you know. You need to be looking for that bigger challenge. As soon as you beat everyone here, look for a tougher challenge. Go, lose, win. Arm wrestling is not like MMA. It's not like, oh, you want to have a perfect record. No one has a perfect record. If you can find me some real arm wrestler, and I mean real arm wrestler, with a perfect record, please, you know. Uh, if you write me, and if you write me someone you don't know, so someone you don't know has a, yeah, it was 2018, exactly. Uh, like, you will write me someone and he has lost, you know, go learn some arm wrestling history. Uh, has Levin never lost? Has, like, guys, have you seen Levin only winning? Levin has lost, of course he lost. He lost many times before he started to win. You can say, oh, but only in PAL. It doesn't matter. There's no, it, you, you cannot forget about, you know, some part of, of the past and say, no, just this counts. He can, if, if he lives his dream and he becomes undefeated in PAL, that's accomplishment. But still, he has lost, you know. Gennady beat him. Krasimir beat him uh, on fouls or something. Yeah, you know, th- there's a lot of people back in the day in, when, when his first, first Europeans world he wasn't that yeah exactly there's no one with a perfect record and there never will be never never will be you know so we'll see uh, i was in which handle to buy and i would just like country crush yeah those are good too oleg jock beat him oleg jock didn't beat him Mitler, maybe that was michael trained his pronation uh michael was like He's like, maybe I can, maybe I can get some things for that pronation. Yeah. So we'll, we'll again, video will be with my, me and Michael and uh, uh, Larry. I want to say Levon because we're talking about him, but um, like handles, like any fifty millimeter handle will be will be good. That's main. You can do most things with it. You know, conical handles, some wrist wrench, things like that. You know, that's good. Uh, how good is Larry in arm wrestling? Technically, how good you will rate him out of out of ten? Uh, he knows the basics. He knows the basics. So uh, I don't. It's it's hard to say what's ten and what's one. You know, um, he's right in the middle. Yeah, right in the middle right now. Because uh, again, what's the, those two things. Like if you watch the video, that's on Larry's channel. Uh, the cup and pronator. So. The sad part is, guys, you don't want to support us. You don't want to support Voice of Harvesting. You like the videos. You like everything we do. But you're like, nah, that's too much. You know, these guys are making a killing living in Dubai. Go to patreon.com. Support us there. Yeah, I, w- I will really appreciate it. And we have things coming for Patreons really, really soon. Me and Giannis are working on. But, you know, with all this trip, dealing with a lot of stuff at home, it, we, we have some things, you know. On, on on our mind so we'll we'll get back to it and uh, we'll do interesting stuff very soon um, how do you like Dubai I love Dubai it's it's amazing experience yeah be honest doesn't know almost nothing huh? be honest he doesn't know almost nothing huh? okay I, I I guess I'm missing the chat <laughs> some picture of your channel yo Go to all the Armistice channel and please subscribe to my man Jake. He's like, uh, he's like, uh, I, I love listening to his voice so much. Sometimes we'll, we'll be on repeat. I'm like, I need to have that Aussie uh, accent. I'm like, mm, I need to have it, you know. But uh, I have this Latvian accent. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just saw a comment under one 
we were talking about Vitaly Laletin and Trubin's match, me and Yanis, and someone's like, dude on, like, in Russian, dude on the left, he's he's not born, he's, his native isn't English, yes? I'm like, do you think Yanis is? Yanis native is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Cheer, cheer, cheerful voice, Aussie kangaroo. No, I will not say your name. Yeah, I've followed those tricks before. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, Svetens no Latvijas. Paldies. Svetens no Dubais, Latvijai. Paldies, kad... Uh, ja, es, es daru visu, ko es varu. <laughs> ja, super. Baliekās. Kustam visu uz priekšu. Ja, little shout out to my Latvian, Latvian family. Use the work outside arm wrestling. No, I'm all in arm wrestling. All in arm wrestling. Everything I do is with or for arm wrestling, so... Uh, okay, guys. Um, yeah. Oh, much love from India. Uh, yeah, Khaled. Khaled. Okay, you want to hear about Khaled? Because I haven't contacted him. And one big reason is Khaled is very, very into MMA. So he's training for MMA. And I don't want to... Like, he said he, he loves MMA and he wants to do that. And he really doesn't want to do arm wrestling to my opinion and to from what i have heard and i don't i don't want to bring him and just you know because i i want to teach someone who really wants to learn and he's really not interested plus he's doing a lot of stuff and uh you know uh, and and i heard he's super good there uh, yeah yeah ciao jean yeah all this <laughs> But yeah, he's he's really good at what he's doing there, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna bring him down. I I don't wanna work with someone who doesn't want to listen to me. I don't wanna I don't wanna arm wrestle him just for sake of arm wrestling. If you still don't think I can pin him inside, you need to wake up, guys, because it's it's really like, it's I I will never top roll him. I know for sure, but. I know guys just want to see that. They want to see us arm wrestling. And I know I'm, just for that, I'm, that's not me, you know. That's Ryan. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I really don't. I really don't. If he comes to practice or he's there, awesome. But I'm not asking asking him for, you know, for anything. I, I like, I want him to do the best he can. And he, if he still finds a place for arm wrestling, and he wants to come back, he might have a bright future. It could be next year or five years from now because of his gifts, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Coach Ray, guys, information. There's no money in MMA. Yeah, it's it's not like money is money is thing, but it's what you love to do. And he, like from his Instagram posts and uh, everything else, you see that he's super, super into MMA, you know. Okay, guys, I really appreciate you. Watch that Larry's video. Uh, no, oh, Paldes. Uh, thank you, everyone, in English. Paldes, visiem maniem latviešiem, maniem draugiem, ģimenei visam pārēm. Jā, es reāli, es rītīju priecīgi par visu, kas tev vēl teikt. Kā jūs redzat, jā. If someone's watching from Russia, spasiba, spasiba visiem, uvidim se, jā. Um, stay strong and love our wrestling guys.